Joshua and Yes, how are you today? Are you excited for another fun learning? Yes, let's pray. But for anything else, let's pray first. So kids, we put our hands together, bow our heads, and fill the place with the Lord as we pray. Lord, thank you for a new day. Please go before me. Thank you for protecting me. Thank you for guiding me. Thank you for loving me. Amen. So, once again, kids, good morning and welcome to our class. So, let's start with our keywords. So, when we say keywords, these are the important words that we will encounter in our page. So, these are our keywords. Have, first one, go, second one, surround, third one, enormous, next one is rainforest, next one is amazing, the next one is this, Tropical bird, pat down, and the last one is the word destroy. So kids, those are our nine words. Now, let us define them one by one. So we have the first one, which is the word flow. So what is the word flow means? So it means to move along or out steadily and continue. In a current or stream. When we say flow, it is also known as the movement of the water. The next keyword is the word surround. So the, the word surround means to be all around of something or to enclose. Look at this picture, kids. The house is surrounded by trees. It means there are a lot of trees around the house. Look at the house. It is in the middle. And it is surrounded by trees. Next word is the word enormous. So the word enormous means a very large in size, quantity, or extent. Enormous is also known as huge or big. Very good. The next word is the word rainforest. Rainforest is an area of thick forest where it rains a lot, a tropical forest. So this picture is an example of a rainforest. Next word is the word amazing. The word amazing means making someone feel surprised. Again, the word amazing means Making someone feel surprised. And the next keyword is the word species. So what is the word species? So when we say species, it is a group of living organisms consisting of similar individuals capable of exchanging genes or other things. Next keyword is the word tropical bird. So what is a tropical bird? So when we say tropical bird, they are only found in a very warm place. But they are often raised as pets. So these are the examples of the tropical birds. And we can also see them in some houses as their pets. Some people are taking care of these kinds of Bird. So the next word is the word cat down. Again, the next word is the word cat down. What is the word cat down mean? So it means to cut tree so that it falls to the ground, or it means to destroy trees. Again, when we say cat down, it means we are going to cut a tree and it will fall down in the ground. And it means we are destroying the shore when we are cutting down trees. Yes, so make sure when you cut down trees, you need to plant another. 
next exam uh, next keyword is the word destroy so what is the word destroy means so when we say destroy it means we put an end to the existence of something by damaging it or attacking it or it means we are going to break something when we are destroying them so again kids these are our nine keywords we have the first one go surround enormous rainforest amazing species tropical bird cat down and the last word destroy so now kids i want you to listen to our passage you can get your book and follow the selection okay so now let's focus and listen to our passage today unit six the amazon rainforest the Amazon River is the world's second longest river. It is located in South America. It flows mostly in Brazil, but it goes through seven other countries too. Surrounding the Amazon River is an enormous rainforest. It is the Amazon rainforest. The Amazon rainforest is the largest jungle in the world. Inside it, there is an amazing amount of life. Around half of all of the world's animal species live there. Over 500 species of mammals, almost 500 types of reptiles, and huge numbers of tropical birds live there. Scientists think around 30 million species of insects live there. There are a wide variety of trees, plants, and flowers, too. Today, however, some of the Amazon rainforest is getting cut down. This is making the rainforest smaller, which is destroying the homes of many plants and animals. We need to protect the Amazon. Without the rainforest, millions of plants and animals would die. It's, so that is our pack today. It's all about the Amazon forest. And our passage for today is all about the Amazon Rainforest. So, where can we find the Amazon River? And where can we find the Amazon River? So, the Amazon River is the world's second, second largest river. It is located in South America. Again, kids, remember that the Amazon River is the world's second largest river. One. The Amazon River flows mostly in Brazil, but it goes through seven other countries too. And it is surrounded by an enormous rainforest. And it is the Amazon Rainforest. But first, have you ever seen a rainforest? So what is, an, what is Amazon Rainforest? So when we say Amazon Rainforest, the Amazon rainforest is the largest jungle in the world. Again, kids, the Amazon rainforest is the largest jungle, jungle in the world. So it means it is the biggest rainforest that can be seen in Earth. So over 500 species of mammals, almost 500 types of reptiles, and huge numbers of tropical birds live there so kids imagine that there are a lot of animals that living in the amazon rest so we need to take care of the amazon rainforest or else when we cut more trees this animal would die because they don't have any habitats anymore so kids these are some of the animals that can be seen Rainforest. Again, kids, these are only some because they are that. So I will just give some examples that the, that we can found in the rainforest. The first one is a cows. Again, the first 
tropical bird that can be in rainforest or Amazon forest are the macaws. Next one is the bat. And bat. We can also found jaguar in the rainforest. Also, so kids, those are some of the animals that can be seen in the Amazon rainforest. So kids, that is all our uh, our passage all about. So now I want you to answer your workbook page twenty one and textbook page nine. Again, kids, I want you to answer your reading workbook page twenty one and textbook nine. Kids, if you have some question or queries about our discussion today, you can ask me our Google Classroom or in my Messenger account. And for the grade to Joshua, you can also message Roxanne in her Messenger account and also in your Google Classroom. So kids, I hope the in that you enjoyed our lesson for today or our passage today, which is the Amazon Rainforest. So kids, good, goodbye!